Hi guys, thank you for tuning into my channel, This Lady Plays. In this video, I'd like to take you on a tour of one of my favorite zoos that I've created, Tiny Animal Zoo. And the zoo is probably the most detailed zoo I have created so far in full. And so I'm pretty excited to show it. Um, I'm also going to probably upload this zoo to the steam workshop so if anyone is interested in going to the steam workshop and downloading it to tour everything themselves then you're welcome to do so i will try to leave uh, some instructions or a link to some instructions on how to go about doing that it's pretty easy and also before we get started i'd like to mention that i am kind of a smaller uh, channel at this time. So I'd like to thank everybody who has subscribed. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd like to invite you to do so so you can see some future videos from me with um, more of these types of zoos and exhibits. A lot of cool stuff to come. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and we will start the tour. So here we go. So one of the first things I did, this was kind of one of my first really cool signs that I made. And I love these little cute little monkeys that I believe, I don't remember which pack they came from. The East Asian sculptures. They were just too adorable and I could not resist putting them in there. And I love these little steps that we got also in one of the uh, DLCs. So, okay, next up, we'll go to the first exhibits that I created here. Were these little tiny animal exhibits. Um, the tiniest animal exhibits that they have, pretty much. <laughs> All right, so which one was this? This was the fire salamander. And oops, let me get out of there. And so I got the fire salamander in this one. And then I have, uh oh, why is this not on? Uh oh, oh, I had something in here. Oh, the axolotti, axolotti. Yes, I think that's how you, I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm sure that I am. So apparently this died and I didn't realize it and I didn't add another one in there. So I'm going to have to do that before I upload it. So that there's something in there. But anyways, let's just move on. So then I went and I built this really cool sort of, what is this? The, um, what plant is this? I believe it's called the Deliciosa is the name of that plant. I actually have one in my house and I love it. It is so big. I love it. Um, all right. So then I added some guest information here some educational dilly bobbers all right so then i made this cute like sunroof here which gives these plants a lot of light okay next exhibit is the um what are these my brain sometimes I just can't call up the names of things so I will be clicking on them a lot of the times to remind myself what they are greater flamingo so I built the greater flamingo exhibit next this was the first main um habitat that I had created so and I didn't at first when I put the first video up I didn't have this in it I had to put that in later because they were starting with, uh, see how many guests, look at all these guests over here. Once it started to get really full of people, they started getting a little freaked out. So I had to come in here and give them like a quick kind of like hiding place. So this is like two way, uh, two way glass. So yeah, I had to give them a little hiding place, but the guests can still see in and see them a little bit. It's not my, this kind of was a quick sort of fix because um, I wanted to move on to what the next habitat that I was building. So that's kind of why that's sitting there right now. So then 
I wanted to build a cute building for like an overlook. So this is where this came in. And I turned this into where you can look at the habitat. Look at how cute they are. Oh, they're in their little pool. Look at all of them just having a fun time over there and the little babies. They must have just restocked it. Yeah, they are all rushing over there. Look at that. So now they're eating the, uh, what, what are they eating? Forage pool. So now the guests are going to come in here and go, ooh, and ah, and look at them. Because that's very adorable. So anyways. So I also built in some... Oh, I took the sign down. I forgot to put it back up. Um, just a memento and the balloons. And I probably should have put some food in here too, but I wasn't ready for that yet. Uh, is it? This was first starting out in franchise, so I needed to make some money. So I didn't want to spend money on building a food, um, a food building when I had these available so when the vending machines are great when you're first starting out in franchise because you don't have to pay an employee basically and the guests can still eat and you know be happy that way so next thing i did and this i kind of didn't really i didn't do much with this i kind of just plopped it down threw in some plants and we had a nice day with that this, I think I combined this video with this one in with, um, what is this? The red lemurs, the lemur habitat, I believe. Yeah. I believe that's when I put this in as well. So this also I put in mainly because I was running out of money. So I put this in as a quick sort of like a new exhibit for guests they can come in and give me donations and i could also sell the butterfly babies for cash so that was kind of like thrown in there as an emergency kind of i need money now situation and also so that i could finish this exhibit which was kind of a lot as you can see i threw a lot of vegetation in here a lot of plants I built this cool little viewing gallery over here. I'm trying to make this as smooth as possible for you guys. Let me close that. Yeah. So anyways. <clears throat> yeah. So this actually took up a lot of money to do because there's quite a bit of stuff in here. And oh, look at that guy. He's running. Oh, people getting in the way. So... That's why I needed some money fast. So anyways, this was fun to build this little guy because I don't usually build these high up sort of in the tree um, sleeping areas for them. So that was a really fun build. And I will be um, putting up the videos, the links to the videos if ever you want to click and watch the full video of these being created. I will have them pop up every now and again for you guys. Um, and I can probably also, if I remember, I'll put them down in the descriptions as well. So that will be easy. So this was fun, kind of trying to build this waterfall. Again, I've only built like a couple of these waterfall thingies and they can be a little tricky to build so this was fun it kind of is a little wonky <laughs> up here on top but I'm okay with it because I think it still looks pretty good so and then I think I went a little overboard here with the vegetation on the walls I think I could have probably done with less on the walls here I think it might be just a bit too much but I what the heck I just threw it all in there <laughs> so moving on okay so now we came through here and then uh, the next thing I built was this building here. 
And this was a large sort of food and drink and also souvenir shop, which was really fun to build. Like a lot of times I just ignore all these little pieces that they have provided for us, but this was fun to go through and really kind of see all the stuff that they had for these souvenir shops to be built out. So if you want to, let's look a little closer here. We got like the little elephant. Oh, and I put this all in a group. So yeah, we got a little elephant. We got a little lion, panda, some monkey stuff. Those, one of these elephants. Oh gosh, I just can't click on anything. So let me scooch on over here. So I just kind of went through to see what we had available and I just threw it up where it made sense. Um, those little guys on the wall, if you wanted to take one of these home and put it on your wall, then you can buy it here. The only main problem I had was I put this really cute um, shirt holder together, <laughs> this table with shirts displayed here. And I put this in before any of the people were in here <laughs> getting into line. So as you can see, they are sort of living in the shirts, which was not what I had intended. And the other problem I had was I didn't put this into a group. I just kind of like did it and it's, it's not in a group. So it's really a pain in the butt for me to move it at this point. If it was in the group, it'd be really easy. I could just click it, move it, blah, we're done. But it's not. And then all these people are in the way, so you can't really click everything. I suppose I could shut this down and have people stop coming over here and I could do it. Um, I probably should have done that, actually. But that was the one mistake that I made in here. And it's just, it's like a learning, you know, it's a learning moment, you know. Don't do that. <laughs> That's what I learned. Um, yeah, another one is like they're going to come and walk through these when they are done getting their food. So you just kind of have to deal with that or move. You'd move this as well. But that's cute. Isn't this so cute? All these little drums and baskets and stuff. And then the little I don't know what these are. They're just like decorations. Yeah. Decorative panel and stuff like that but they are really neat too so I like those it kind of looks like a surfboard almost like a big fat surfboard and uh, the last thing was let me show off the oops, sorry if you're getting dizzy uh, the cute bear sculpture that was cute and that was really easy to make actually so and then this I didn't even know that this moved until I put this down I really didn't Australian sculpture this moves. <laughs> so when I put that down and I saw it moving when I hit play, I was like, oh, wow. I did not know that that they had any moving pieces in here. So that was cool. All right. So let's move on to the lemurs. This was so fun to make. This was one of my favorite ones to make. I don't often do these round, perfectly round um, exhibits. So this was really fun to make, make it all round and pretty and cute. And with this nice little fencing area, I was just, I was in love with this one. I love it. And the cute little lemurs. I don't know if you guys ever watched that. Um, excuse me. I'm calling them lemurs. I'm a dummy. Meerkats. I probably put lemurs on the, on the thing, didn't I? Oh my gosh. I'm a dumb dumb. They're meerkats. They're not lemurs. They're meerkats. Pardon me. Okay, um, but the cute little meerkats, I don't know if any of you remember that show with the meerkats where they actually like, they were recording these meerkats and then they kind of made a little story behind everything they were doing, which was totally made up, but they gave them all like personalities and it was really cute. It made me really want, really love building this meerkat exhibit. I just have to look at it for just a second because it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, okay, this part was also really fun because I needed to build some more um, facilities for the employees and stuff. So this was really fun to do as well. Like, look at this. This is a workshop. 
And so we got all kinds of little like weir wheelbarrows and I don't know what's in there, but it's wrapped up and you know, all these cute little things that come with the game that I usually just ignore when I'm doing, when I'm just doing like fast exhibits, habitats and stuff like that. I usually just ignore all this stuff, but it is so cool to really build this stuff out. And there is a little uh, vehicle right there. And then they can walk in here and this is where the meerkats can come and sleep and hide from people and do whatever they want to do. I, do, I forgot to put a door in, but that's okay. So then they can come out here and feed their little meerkat friends like this guy's doing right here. Yep. So much fun. And then this, this waterfall, I believe that I got this off of the workshop. So yeah, this is a waterfall thing and it's someone else built this. I didn't build this, but I just, I wanted to throw that in there because I thought it was really cool. So, all right. The next one that we built, I think I actually started on the other side. So we didn't build, this is the last few things that I built. The next few things that I built was, oh my gosh, I'm totally forgetting. Oh, this guy. Oh, okay. This is one of the next ones that I built. Let's see. Here we go. Now this is the, and I'm not going to be able to pronounce the name properly for these guys, I think. Where are you, little, little guy? Oh, did they die? No, they didn't die, did they? nobody's over here okay let's see if we can find more of them this was the chinese pangolin oh no and i'm totally out let's get some more in here real quick chinese pangolin okay we're just gonna buy some of you because i don't know why you're not here send to zoo i guess they didn't even make any babies or anything Okay, we're going to get some more of these guys in here. They're going to come right in. Okay. So, this was the Chinese pangolin. And so they are actually, they don't need much room at all. This is perfect. Size. Look how tiny this is. Uh oh someone's escaping. Where are you? This one again? I could have sworn I moved you. Okay, that's why. Mm, something's going on with that one. Okay, we'll save you. Okay. Oh, there they are. Oh, there he is. And you're injured already? I bought an injured pangolin? Rude. Who's selling injured pangolins? Come on now. Okay, let's get that vet in there to help you out really fast. So after I had built this exhibit, um, this little, I had built a really cute viewing canopy and it was kind of small and open. And these little guys were getting real freaked out by the crowds once it started getting more and more crowded. So I had to go in and I had to put some of this um, one-way glass in here so that they wouldn't be so freaked out. And I liked how it looked before. I thought it looked really cute. This doesn't look bad, but it's just not what I had initially intended. So that's why that's there. But I love, like, look at this cute, cute little area. You can just walk through with all these little plants on the side here. Yeah, I thought it came out pretty good. None, um, anyways, so. Ooh, the Tasmanian Devil. This is one of the newer animals. Um, and I hadn't, this is the first time I had made an exhibit for one, so it was really fun. And it's really fun to see the cute little guys the way. Look at how they lay. Look at how they lay down. Look at that. Isn't that cute? 
And when he first did that, I'm like, oh no, is he dead? <laughs> I really did. I thought they had died. And uh, nope, they're not dead. They're just sleeping. And then I gave him a little like a little pop up viewing area for the guests who are not looking the right way. They actually maybe they're looking at this tree because this tree is very cool. Look at that tree. That is neat. Oh, look, the baby. Oh, look at the little baby. Oh, my goodness. I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to follow it. Oh, there he is. Look at you. Look at you running. Okay, moving on. All right, so, and I also built them this really neat cave. Which, um... I'm also not that great at doing caves. So I thought that this came out fairly all right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let me just, I'm trying, I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy with me turning the camera. I apologize for that. I'm trying to go slow. All right. So I don't usually put the turtles in. I don't normally do this, but I wanted the, this is the tiny animal zoo. And so I had to do some turtles, tortoises, excuse me, tortoises, tortoises. And, oh, look, they're getting a little bit stressed out. Yeah, they're getting a bit stressed out. That is the problem when you want to make these tiny exhibits. Like, you actually see these in the zoo. You know, you're right up there with the with the tortoises. But they get stressed easy. And they move so slow. Like, this guy just came out of his little thing, so he's fine. He's thirsty, but he's happy. But now he's going to come out here and he's going to get a little stressed out. Because look at all these people. They just love you, little tortoise. They just love you. Don't be scared. So this was my little tortoise habitat that I made. And I thought it came out pretty good. Across the way, we have... What is that? Is that the kimono? What kind of thingy are you? The Nile monitor, 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 whatever, Nile monitor. This was another really, really fun one to do because it's kind of sunken, oops, kind of sunken in. I built up a lot of rocks around the side. Uh, I gave them, the guests, their own little outlook um, pathway here. So it's not on the main path. So as you can see, a lot of people are coming in here and getting stuck, which is, that's one of the issues when you have a, a zoo and you use the smaller pathways. A lot of times the guests will just bump into each other. So let's see, you're too many adults. Okay, they had some babies, so now they're getting a little crowded. And uh, look how tiny this little exhibit is. Let's very very cool to make it that time. okay so let's see where do we go next next we are going to look to I did put lemurs down didn't I on the sign oh no nope that was the correct one never mind forgive me I am going bananas okay so next we have Oh, the little fennec fox. This was another one where I'm like, I really enjoyed doing the round, um, the round exhibit for the meerkats. So I wanted to do another one round. Um, and I thought it would be great to do it for the fennec fox here because that is another very tiny animal that does not need a lot of space. And... Yeah, the only problem is trying to figure out how to keep them from getting stressed out from the crowds. So with this one, I tried to give them, I guess it's not really that much less of a viewing area, but I tried to sort of give them a wall over here to maybe help out with that. And I guess it's maybe not working out so well. Yeah, still a little bit stressed out. So in the future, I'll have to try to have to keep... My, keep myself aware that they need a little more privacy sometimes. But anyways, this was so fun to build because look at all these little pieces that you can just throw in here and make it look really natural 
and you know just cute interesting plants that you can put down and um i have from the workshop i downloaded a bunch of different like watering options so this is for like a desert so i definitely thought that was um a good one to put in here and then i love that i created this large well for them it's large this pond so that they can come out here and swim and just have the time of their lives and look at the little guy look at him isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, you're stressed out, but it's okay. We love you. That's probably why you're running around. So yeah, I don't know what I can do. I'm going to have to try and look around and see what I can do about the stress of these animals that um, is getting caused. Okay, so ooh, this one was so much fun to build. Let's go in the right way. So if you come around here... Ooh, the platypus. This was so fun to build. So I made this little sign here for the platypus on the rocks and a little like cave to go under and through that's so much fun okay so so this is the platypus you come around here and then you can come and you can see i probably should have made the water higher but that's all right and then you can duck down if you want to duck down and take a look at like the underwater aspect and let's go in let's just go in <gasps> look how amazing look how amazing this underwater forest is it's so neat i love it i loved building this one this was so cool to build and all these little sticks in here i love doing that i love throwing those in there and just making it look very authentic and let me stop moving so hopefully i'm not making you guys dizzy <laughs> Let me know in the comments, um, cause I could, yeah, give me some advice if I'm making you dizzy with how much I'm moving the camera. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, oh, look, he's playing. He's playing. Oh, look at that. Oh, how cute. How cute. Oh, and it's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna scream. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Anyways. So yeah, let me, let me zoom out and I'll show you kind of the, another round one that I did. I started having fun with these round ones. Okay. So I took one big round one and then kind of put them together and deleted the in, in the middle part here to make this little eight so i thought that was really neat and interesting and then i had this beachy area kind of slope down oh there there they are oh and there's a baby my little baby you're so cute you know when they first discovered the platypus uh scientists thought it was a fake they thought it was a hoax whoever got the first picture of it they're like no that doesn't exist that doesn't exist and you're a liar <laughs> until they found one and they're like oh all right that does exist and we are all idiots all right so this is fun i love like how neat and you know authentic and i love putting just a bunch of different um foliage kind of in here because it looks very you know normal and natural and kind of like the way everything grows in nature where there's just a bunch of things growing together these little flowers are really cute i love these um yeah so this was the platypus that i built and the only problem i had was <coughs> here <coughs> excuse me because i had to raise I had to raise uh, the land here for this this land to be high up enough that it's not in the water. So I kind of had a little bit of an issue figuring out how to get the um, the entrance here created. All right, everyone's inbreeding. Whoops. Okay, it's fine. So this was the only problem I had. I like I was trying to get the slope right so I didn't have to have steps or anything like that. But it was taking too long, and I was just like, screw it, let's do it. Let's just put the steps in. All right, did we go over everything? Um, let me. Okay, the last thing is another little tiny animal exhibit that I created. 
sort of, I made it a very rocky, very um, yeah, Amazon-y, I guess is a good word. So these are mostly frogs. So I did Goliath frog. Um, I think, what is this? Yeah. And I put these little signs up so people can read really big what they are. Poison frog, another poison frog. And let me zoom out here the red-eyed tree frog so i wanted to put some more of those in there but i didn't want to just plop them in like i usually do which is like in a square and then i just build around it so i wanted to do something a little more natural like along the path and then maybe with a little canopy so that's how that came about and then i just kind of started most of these, I didn't know what I was going to do when I started building it. I All of these, actually, I had no plan. I just kind of built things and kind of went with it. And it sort of evolved as I went. So I do think next time I might try to put a little bit more planning into it. But I do think, if I zoom out, it didn't come out too bad with no real like good planning not too too bad I don't think I thought it came out pretty good um, I did not do anything with the center I kind of didn't really bother making the center part nice at all so I kind of left that alone that's the only part that looks a little me me I might try to I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with it before I upload it we'll see I guess it'll be a surprise for you if there's anything <laughs> created there when I upload it to the steam workshop so anyways, just another quick little pan around just to show you before we finish up this video. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, you're amazing. I love you. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will continue uploading more cool and interesting habitats uh, in the future. So we'll see you next time. Thanks.